do when you're back at the dock with a nice fish on ice? Well, Margo got a quick lesson from a professional fish cutter. We're here at Garden and Valley Isle Seafood and I'm with a friend of Sala and you are going to show me, teach me how to cut, what is this, a blue a striped marlin? marlin. Stripe, striped marlin? Yeah, a nargi. Okay. okay, so um, this thing is pretty humongous. Yeah, so, so I'm going to cut it in half. You're going to cut it in half yeah. for me, so, yeah. so I don't have to yeah. go the whole way. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to cut it down the center. Normally some guys use saw, but since you been in long in the business, you can just cut them with a knife. Oh wow. So now since you're a beginner, mm -hmm. this is the center <laughs> bone right here. Okay. Okay, there's a center bone right in the middle. So you, you first you write the top of the center bone. Okay. Make that Going this way with cut. it? Yeah. Okay. Right on it or right on top, on top. of it? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Not too deep, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Ooh. now you go all the way to the center bone. You make another cut. You go underneath the bone. Okay, underneath the center yeah. bone. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been uh, doing this for? Uh, for a while, since from 1987. So, okay, now we turn the fish around. Now you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna go right the top bone, all the way down to the center bone. Okay. Okay. Like this? Mm hmm Okay. It's all about techniques, yeah? Should I not be sawing it like this? Uh, no, it's good. I okay. mean, begin, beginners, um, cutters is always <laughs> like that, you know? You can see each little cut mark? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you lift it up a little so you can see. Okay. Now you go to the center bone. Okay, okay. which is, yeah, right there is the center bone. Okay. So you write it all the way down. Oh, oh. okay. You okay, go up a little bit. Oh, there it is. Okay. There okay. You go. okay, all over here so you can see. I'm trying to not yeah. cut my finger off. No, that's okay. Okay. Do you have, um, from the way I'm holding the knife, do you have a better technique yeah. for me try, to. Try this way because um, actually, you're supposed to move it this way so you, you get your leverage on the knife. So the fish know? is almost face, yeah. facing, facing me, yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. So am I holding the knife like this or yeah, against? Like this, yeah, that okay. way. So now you're going to go to the center bone. Okay. And cut straight down. In, to, yeah. Into the bone? Yeah, go over. There you go. Oh! Oh, there you go. Okay, cut oh, look that like, off. Okay. That's oh. all right, that's okay. It's not a problem. Cut Plenty that off? fish GBI oh. get. Okay, there you go. That's the not first quite quarter. as clean as your cuts, yeah. but... <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, and then you trim this off. Okay. This piece. Just cut close to that. Oh, okay, so not yeah. too much, just more yeah, that line. Yeah, not too much. Okay, you make the doing. My you, hands you are frozen. So, yeah, you're getting okay, many there. problems away. Yeah. <laughs> so, what you do is just, you? you just make oh, a stroke. Oh, just like yeah. that. Oh, you don't need Instead to hold of making it like and a pull saw, it? Yeah, you yeah. just make a straight cut. Oh, okay. okay. That's how it is. So, just a nice and yeah, smooth Yeah, nice one. and smooth slice. So, you just slide yeah, it? Slide down, yeah. And you have to put your hand there? Oh, uh, yeah, you can do that. Oh, okay, that's yeah, much nicer. Clean, straight cut. Okay, then you cut down, yeah. Ah, that's the go. technique. Yeah. No so sign doesn't work here. Yeah. Okay. Many years of experience. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right, that's a little better. Yeah, it's good. Good, thank you All very right. much for uh -huh. showing me how yeah, to no fillet this. Always come back again. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very You're much. You're welcome. And now, Dave Lancaster and Tackle Tips, brought to you by Hanapa'a Hawaii. We're here at Hanapa Fishing Supply and we have Travis here with us for Tackle Tips and today we're talking about a unique item that's being used by a lot of fishermen, surfers, water people. It's called the GoPro Hero Cam. Look at this thing. Tell us about this, Travis. Well, actually the GoPro, mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a very small camera used for the water, you know, just used for diving, um, surfing. I, use, I like to use it for surfing and bodyboarding. Yeah. Um, I haven't used it for diving yet, but I would like to try it out. We actually have um, a custom case for it, which is this one. Mm -hmm. This one isn't really made for the underwater, but we do, we're gonna start carrying. Actually, they have a new case out. It's a flat lens, mm -hmm. and it's made for underwater diving, so. So real simple, the camera's really small. Now you've seen the commercials on TV, people mount it on their surfboard, but here, we're gonna mount it on a spear gun. 
So now we get evidence that you actually made the kill, right? Right. Okay, so it pops into the case, real simple, closes up. Now, now it has this piece of strip, it is white paper. What is this? That's an anti fault strip. Um, okay. We actually sell it. It comes in with three pairs, and yeah. each pair, you get four uses out of each pair. So you just pop it in the case. You slide it in, you stick one on top, one on the bottom, you lock the case up, and you're good to go. Okay, just, it just locks right up, right? Yes, it does. Okay. So you just turn it on as, as you're, you're going and diving, you see the fish, you just and you get something to remember for the rest of your life. Yes, you do. <laughs> and over here, we actually sell a lot of different accessories. Uh -huh. If you're not going to use the underwater diving mechanism, we actually have the suction cup mount. You can yeah. stick it on into your car as you're driving to record a trip or, mm -hmm. you know, on top of a helmet while you're riding your skateboard. Or just, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, stick them on your forehead so you can uh, record your footsteps so you can always remember where you went. Yep, that's who Trace your path. <laughs> yeah. um, also, you know, if you're into racing or mm -hmm. drifting, we have the, what's known as a roll bar mount. Yep. And you just stick this right onto your, one of your roll bars and it'll take the shots. Okay, and the GoPro Hero camera available here at Hanapa Fishing Supply. Yes, it is. All right, hey, Travis, thanks a lot, right on, bro. Thank you. All right, hey, let's go spear fishing. Yeah, right okay. on. Next on Hawaii Goes Fishing, Kimmy Warner prepares a kumushi caught on real recipes. Thank you.